When I move to the Netherlands, I will automatically be rich. My life will become easier. Netherlands is a racist country with systematic racism. And I, being a cute Nigerian black girl, is always going to be a victim. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a lie. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back, okay? Thank you guys for all your love and support. It means so, so, so much to me, okay? Guys, so in today's video, listen, I'll be addressing some of the lies that I was told about the Netherlands before I moved into this country. Guys, listen, some of these lies are really, really epic, okay? So without further ado, let's dig into them, okay? Right. So because I want to start this video with a bang, okay? The first lie that I was told about the Netherlands is that the Netherlands is a racist country with systematic racism. And I, being a black girl, Will always be a victim now brothers and sisters that is a lie okay I think a lot of you already are offended because they're like how dare you say that the Netherlands is not racist have I have you not read the Dutch history do you not know what is going on this video is not about me coming here to defend the Netherlands or their history with slavery or whatever no that's not my intention my intention is the last sentence that I said that because I'm black I will always be a victim and this is definitely not true first of all guys racism is a very very big word especially for me like I prefer not to throw it around because I feel like it's a very very huge accusation in my own definition racism is when I'm treated badly or treated indifferently or not given equal respect because of my race okay simply because of my race not my culture, not my opinion, not because they don't like me, simply because of my race. To me, that is racism. So if someone is mean to me because they don't like how I behave, that is not racism. If someone is mean to me because they don't like my culture, that is not racism, okay? I have lived in the Netherlands for more than three years now. My husband, the same, and I have a child who was born in the Netherlands, I have never had an experience of blatant racism, okay? Does it mean that I have not had bad experiences? Absolutely not. Someone has actually told me to go back to my country before, and at the beginning, I actually thought, of course, this is racism. How dare you, okay? How dare you tell me that? But in reality, looking back at that incident, I would say, or I would argue that that is not racism. That was just someone who was having a bad day and I didn't speak Dutch to him and he was so offended and he told me to go back to my country. So all I'm saying is that when you're moving to the Netherlands, especially if you feel like your race is a minority in the Netherlands, don't come with a mindset that you will always be a victim. If you come with that mentality, you will make the same mistake that I made at the beginning, which is, always being at the defense, always, you know, looking around, ensuring that everybody's treating you right. And if you have any little disagreement, the first thing that comes to your mind is, are you sure this person is not racist to me? Please don't have that mentality. As a matter of fact, come to the Netherlands with an open mind, okay? The single fact that you are in the Netherlands legally as an immigrant tells something about you, tells that you, you have something of value in my opinion. So when you come, you should come with an open mind. You should come with your head up high. I'm telling you, let you be that person that is going to be so difficult for anyone to offend. So that if in a case where you actually experience racism, you would then know that this person has actually gone out of their way to treat you badly just because of your race. So, and if that's the case, then you will know how to deal with that amicably. Okay, so that's my opinion. Now, the second lie that I heard before moving to the Netherlands is that Dutch people are mean and rude, okay? I do have a video where I talked about the directness of the Dutch people. I'm going to link this video in the cards where I talked about are the Dutch people being direct or are they just being blatantly 
rude and in my opinion just because dutch people are direct which means that they tell you things as they are they don't know how to mince words they don't know how to you know keep running in circle round and round that directness can a lot of times be misunderstood as being rude or being mean okay and i don't think that's the case it doesn't mean that you will never experience people being rude to you blatantly being rude and in that case i think after you've stayed in the netherlands for a while you'll be able to differentiate when someone is just being direct and when someone is being blatantly rude and when the person is rude you would then know how to respond okay okay guys so the next lie i heard about the netherlands is that you do not need dutch to thrive in the netherlands Please, and please, and please, I'm here to tell you that it is a lie, okay? Now, I understand why people could have that impression. Over 90% of Dutchies speak English. So, obviously, if you're an English speaker and you move to the Netherlands, you will find it easier to get along because there will always be someone who will guide you, someone who will communicate with you in English. But when it comes to thriving in the Netherlands, it, in my opinion, it means being able to mix up with the society, being able to have a relationship with the Dutchies, being able to, you know, completely immerse in the society. You need Dutch, okay? Don't be like me. Don't, don't make the same mistake that I made thinking that, you know, I can always get around with English. No no and no okay now the next lie i was told about the netherlands is this the netherlands is a wealthy country so when i move to the netherlands i will automatically be rich eh ha! listen guys i really wish this particular lie was true when you move to the netherlands there is no tree somewhere where you can just go and just pluck money and enjoy yourself that's not how it works okay there's nobody like standing at the airport handing out money just because it's a wealthy country i think some of you will be wondering who on earth would ever believe this now listen guys i think this perception is very very common from those of us who come from africa i'm nigerian so the perception that we have about western culture or the western co country is very different we always hear it in the news that they're very rich they're very wealthy the quality of life is very good so we just assume that listen when you move if you find your way and just find yourself in this western country automatically you'll be rich and automatically your life will become better but that is not true okay it really really depends on why you're moving what you have to offer to the country really because there are some people that move to this country and it takes them like months or even years to be able to find a job or a good job that they love and be able to settle down to earn enough to actually have a very good life there are people like that there are situations like that so just because someone is moving to the netherlands or moving to any western con country or a country that quote unquote is rich does not automatically mean that a person would become rich by moving to that country okay then. now the next one is very very similar to this one that i've said okay now that lie is that when i move to the netherlands my life will become easier because the government takes care of everything wow 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 i think this perception is very common if you're coming from maybe africa it's very common for us to view western countries in a different light so we assume that you know life is better there the government takes care of everything and life is much much easier there and all of that will i say that since i moved to the netherlands my life has become better absolutely i would say that because i mean i've been able to get a job or rather i have a full-time job and i'm able to earn enough money um, to contribute to my family in a way that at least we can be able to you know take care of our basic essential needs monthly so yes my life has become better in that sense but would i say my life has become easier absolutely not okay <laughs> since i moved to the netherlands i've actually been the busiest i've ever been in my entire life listen the government is not taking care of everything for me okay the government is not paying my rent the government is not buying my food <laughs> the government is not cleaning my house all the basic things that i need for survival i still have to provide for myself and are there benefits that i get uh, from the government of course there are childcare benefits that i get but 
in comparison to how much my family spends on childcare costs, it's really insignificant to be honest. If you compare some of these benefits that I get from the government to how much I actually need to run my everyday life or to survive every day, is really significantly small so yes even though the government do take care of a lot of things i still have to pay heavy tax okay <laughs> to enable them to do so so please don't have the perception that when someone is in a western culture or when someone is in a more developed country their lives are automatically easier or better I don't think so, okay? Well, the next slide that I believed before moving to the Netherlands is that healthcare is free. Please, please stop it, okay? <laughs> healthcare is not free in the Netherlands, okay? As a matter of fact, it is compulsory for every, every resident in the Netherlands to have healthcare insurance. That means that you have to pay every month for your healthcare insurance okay for me i pay about 140 euros of which i think 120 is for the basic healthcare package and then i took additional insurance from my healthcare to take care of other additional costs especially during pregnancy and then in addition to that we have what we call own risk okay I think it's about 365 euros what this means is that your health insurance provider will not pay any healthcare cost until the healthcare cost has exceeded 365 euros in the year healthcare is not free in the Netherlands okay the next slide that I was told is that childcare is free in the Netherlands Wow. Formal education, okay, I think for kids between five years and I think 16 to 18 years, I'm not sure, is free. So that means that you don't have to pay any money, especially if your kids are attending public owned schools. But children are not born at the age of five, okay? You still have to take care of a child from zero to four years old. If for instance, the two parents are working, then you have to arrange maybe a daycare. Daycare or childcare cost in the Netherlands is very, very expensive, okay? It can cost somewhere between eight euros per hour to I think up to 10, 11 euros per hour, depending on the city that you're living in. One good thing is that if you and your spouse are working or if the family if the household is a double income household the government could subsidize the amount of money that you pay for child care so that's one good thing but it is not free at least from zero to four that one is certain okay another thing to bear in mind is when your child starts formal education the schools do not open all day long so there are a number of hours that the schools open so for instance the school could open or run from 7 a.m in the morning to 1 p.m in the afternoon or 7 a.m in the morning to 3 p.m in the afternoon depending on the school now bear in mind that if you are working full time and you work let's say from nine to five you need to arrange after school care for your kids so you have to pay for the period of time that you are not available and your kids are done in school okay guys so the last lie that i'll be addressing in this video that i believed was that I will not find African food items in the Netherlands so I need to get as many as I could bring from Nigeria. Now this is a big lie, okay? Since I moved to the Netherlands, I have not had any big need to actually ship food items from Nigeria because I would say 80% of the food items that I would need in Nigeria I can still find here in the Netherlands. And the beautiful thing is a lot of them I can find in the supermarket or in the open markets, okay? I've made so many Nigerian dishes from jollof rice to soup, okra soup, egusi soup. In fact, name it, name it, okay? And in most cases, I'm able to find whatever ingredient that I'm looking for in the normal supermarket or 
in the open markets. I do have a few videos on my channel already showing you guys where I buy my African food items and I also do intend to make an updated video to show you guys how I'm able to shop to manage my money especially with this inflation going on at the moment okay so yeah do let me know in the comment section if you'll be interested to see where i buy my african food items and all of that okay guys this is the end of this video okay thank you guys once again for watching please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing guys it will mean so 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 much to me okay thank you guys once again and i'll see you in my next one bye